Hello and thank you for joining us. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. Today we're going to demonstrate how to add the Code Red Launcher in the Great Android Launcher to an existing Android device. Good news! There is no flashing or toothpick method needed. We're going to demonstrate it today with the Jinxbox M6 Android. This is a Android player that runs a dual core processor. And we're going to show you how to change the look of it, kind of change how it operates a little bit with a nice new launcher. You're going to go to the Google Play Store. And of course, we've searched for it so we can save the step of navigating the keyboard. But it's the Code Red Launcher. And what you're going to look for is this blue and white logo here CR. Right, OK. And we've purchased it already. This launcher is $1.99, and you can take a look at it and see if you think you want it. Once you purchase it, of course, you install it. We've already done that step. The M6 is pretty fast, so we're all set to go. Okay, so here's where you start. This is the setup wizard, and it says the Armada set top box wizard. This is because Code Red is actually produced by the company Armada. They make other set top boxes like the Pure Linux. So from this screen, you can sign in to your personal social media accounts. We're not going to do that right now to save a little time but you can sign into your Facebook and so on and it's displayed in what's called the film strip and I'll show you that in the next screen up the film strip is right here what it's doing right now is it defaults to YouTube but you can set this up so that you can look at your top YouTube subscriptions you can look at your pictures and videos from Facebook from your friends. It also defaults to Vimeo. I'll show you that towards the end. This isn't my video, this is just stuff it sort of pulls. Alright, the first thing I like to do in something like this is go to settings. And I like to change the font. I'm not old, but I just think it's easier to see something on a TV if it's larger, as far as the writing goes. So we're going to do that. I'm going to back out. All right. Now, all of the apps that were already on the Jinx box are still here. There's a little app section down here in the left corner, kind of like an old Windows button. Wasn't a lot on it, but here we are. If you'd like to add an app, this has a simple little plus sign that shows up at the left corner. And let's just say we want to add YouTube. Now YouTube is down there and of course we've got our YouTube videos up here it's very easy to change the look and feel of this one go to edit layout and you can change what's coming through your feed You can remove items from the quick launch section. Sorry, YouTube barely knew ya. 
and here you can add widgets so just so that we know what time it is and what day it is here today we're going to add a clock and a calendar See, that, that looks nice doesn't it you can also change the background and we'll get this galaxy here it kind of gives it a nice sunset look nice warm feel but that is what it looks like you can also access your locally stored files videos pictures and what this app does is it will suggest things for you like I don't have a way to access the videos right now but it recommends this file explorer so you know, it invites us to go into the Google Play Store and install this I'm not gonna bother with that that's kinda of boring but I just wanted to show you how that worked but I think this is a pretty and a very nice app launcher it's designed with TVs in mind as you see instead of being a phone on a television screen it's an actual TV based Android experience I've been doing all of this with a standard remote that comes with the G with the, uh, the Jinx Box M6 and having no trouble getting around I'm gonna launch a video sweet home oh nice guess home is where the heart is but that is the code red launcher I hope you enjoyed this video for more on the jinx box code red and streaming check us out at www.thestreamingadvisor.com Please subscribe to this channel, share the video with your friends. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor.